you can create some insane websites in Framer. And I went down a rabbit hole this last week and found a ton of websites built in Framer that just blew me away. And so in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna share with you my six favorite websites. I'm gonna tell you why I like them, and I'm hoping that they'll give you a little inspiration for your next project. So let's get into it. So the first website is tellit.ai, and I love the colors and overall experience of this website. This site is an excellent example of what you can do with Framer. There's so much movement in the site and it feels super lively and engaging, which plays a really big part in conversions. I'm especially impressed with what they've done with this image of the phone and the animations that happen as you scroll. These types of websites work perfectly when you're showcasing an app or a software because it just shows so much more that you just can't illustrate with static images. Now, I typically prefer more simplistic white space websites, but I actually feel like they did a really great job utilizing their brand colors as background colors. So overall, I think Tellit is a great example of the fun, playful types of websites that you can build in Framer. This next website is onassemble.com, and my favorite part about this site, aside from all of the white space, is all of the scroll animations. This is something that you can do in Framer more easily than just about any other platform. So as you start scrolling, all the icons merge into the main image here, and you'll also notice that the call to action button slowly transforms into a full navigation, which I'm not sure if I've ever seen something like this before. These two text blocks slowly change color as you scroll, which makes them a lot more readable. And I noticed that it made me as the reader take more time really understanding what it said. Now throughout this site, you'll notice a lot of these bento grids. They just look really clean and organized. They're really simple to make in Framer. And then you also see a lot more scroll animations. And this is such an easy way to bring static images or even stock photos to life by having the things around them have a little bit of movement. So OnAssemble did a really great job with this one. Our next website is Ampy.Design. This is a portfolio website that has a ton of really fun and unique scroll animations. I love how these words fall in one at a time as you scroll, and then it immediately takes you to the change of background color. The site then displays these different case studies, and I love how these start to stack like cards rather than just being a basic scroll. And each one has a different color background to help distinguish each one. And then they do a great job of just showcasing the work. The hover effect on these large words are also a really cool way to just show more details about each of these services. And then you have one last color change on the background where it changes to this lime green and it has different snapshots of their work that are floating in and out. Now this type of thing gives it a lot of depth, but it's actually really easy to do by just adjusting the Z index. So it looks like the images go behind some words and over the top of other words. Now I'm usually a believer of having your portfolio be a little bit safer, more simplistic design, but honestly, I think this website does a fantastic job of showcasing their skills and expertise, and I would definitely hire them. The next site is mason-wong.com. This is another portfolio site that I'm a really big fan of. I love the large fonts and the use of the yellow color on top of the green background. I think it goes really well together. Now, if you look really closely to that green background, it has a bit of like a textured static movement in the background, which you might not be able to notice unless you look closely, but I love those types of unique details. Now, again, we're seeing this scroll animation where the text turns white as you scroll and continue to read. And again, these just make the reader take their time, read every word, and it's a more engaging way to write out paragraphs. So if you have really important text that you wanna make sure everybody reads, consider using one of these scroll animations. They also added a really cool hover effect as you hover over each individual case study. So this website is another really cool example of the types of things you can build in Framer. And I'm definitely starting to realize how cool it is that Framer just hands you this blank open canvas and you can design and develop anything. There are really no limitations. The next website is Unifiers of Japan. And this is definitely a very unique and niche website but it does a really cool job of showcasing some of the more advanced features of Framer. So the first thing that really caught my attention was how the face transforms as you scroll. This is a really complex animation, but all of this is definitely possible to do in Framer. The other thing you'll notice as you click and actually go explore this website on your own is the scroll is really smooth and almost a little bit delayed. Now, some of you might be a fan of this, 
For me, I like it to feel a little bit more responsive and snappy, but you have all of these different capabilities to change not only the look of the website, but also the feel that the user has as they scroll through it. The other thing that stood out to me about this website is how you can click on these cards and they'll flip around so you can see what's written on the back. So while this site isn't necessarily my style, I think it's an awesome showcase of this designer skills. And the last site we're gonna look at is wegrow.design. And I feel like this is a really solid example of a very timeless website. This is probably the most like my style. I like really simple. I actually like to use a lot of center line. I like big bubbly fonts. This is overall just a fantastic website. They use some simple animations to scale up this video as you scroll. And they also have a really cool slider that slows down as you hover your mouse over each row. This is a cool way to showcase lots of work, but if there's something that catches the user's attention, they can hover over it and it'll slow down that scroll so they have an extra moment to look at it. I'm also a really big fan of these animated icons and how well they stand out and how they caught my attention. Now after all of that, possibly my favorite part of this website is the use of the bento grid for each individual case study, which allows you to see a variety of different uses of the brand. And then the final thing that I wanted to point out is all the way at the bottom on the footer, it's got these illustrations of each team member. And as you hover over them, it tells you a little bit more about each one. The only thing that feels like a little bit of a missed opportunity though, is that they didn't put those glasses on the dog as well. So I really love these six websites. I'd be curious to know which one was your favorite. You can comment that down below. And I'm also going to include links to each one of these websites in the description. Now I'm starting to get really hooked on Framer. And so if you want me to do more Framer content in the future, comment the word Framer down in the comments and we'll look forward to catching you in the next video.